today to encourage someone. I know that there are many that are going through trials and storms and troubles. And I know that many of you want to quit, give up. You feel hopeless and helpless. And I came by to encourage you today and to remind you that God is El Shaddai. He is more than enough. I came by to remind you that he is the protector and provider. He's our rock and our fortress. He's our redeemer and our creator, our sustainer. He holds us together. I came by to remind someone today that wants to give up and quit that you can't quit. This is not the time to give up, but the time to fight. This is the time for you to put on the whole armor of God, that you would use the spiritual weapons that God has provided you with, that you pray without ceasing, that you praise continuously, that you lift him up and exalt him, that you trust in him with all of your heart and not lean to your own understanding. This is the time that you use your spiritual weapons because the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. This is not the time to give up and quit when the enemy is attacking you. This is not the time to give up and quit when you begin to walk in your vision and your dream just because you hit a few snags and a couple of traps and you have some things coming against you. This is the time to fight and press your way through. This is the time that you walk by faith and not by sight. This is the time that you endure and you stand and you stand against the wiles of the enemy and you withstand against the evil and you are able to go forward into the things of God growing through it and living through it and getting through it that when you come out you're better than when you went in it may be your valley time but yea though I walk through the valley it doesn't tell us to pitch a tent and to stay there but we're going through the valley and when you get to the mountain time you need that valley experience so that you can look back and see where God has brought you from this is not the time to quit but it's the time to press it's not time to give up but it's time for you to fight it's not time to throw in the towel but to put on the whole armor of God it's not time for you to put down the Bible, but it's time for you to pick up the word of God and stand on it. It's your spiritual foundation. It's what keeps you. It's what strengthens you. It's what causes you to have victory and not be a victim. It's what makes you more than a conqueror. It's what makes you continue to go forward when the enemy wants to knock you down. When your flesh is telling you to give up, it's the word of God that strengthens you. It's the word of God that encourages you. It's the word of God that changes you and transforms you from the inside out while you're pressing through, while you're fighting through, while you're seeking God, he's providing for you. While you're seeking God, he's making a way out of no way. While you're seeking God, he's opening up doors that no man can shut and shutting doors that no man can open. While you're seeking God, he's already working it out. The word says that he perfects that which concerns you. And so that means that he's perfecting whatever it is that you're dealing with, whatever concerns you. It may be your family. It may be your health. It may be your finances. It may be your ministry. It may be your children, your spouse, whatever it is, God is perfecting that which concerns you. He's making it better. He's mending it. He's healing it. He's delivering it. He's restoring you. He's rebuilding what's been torn down. He's restoring what's been taken away from you. And I thank you that you are able, Father, to remind us that you are El Shaddai, that you are more than enough, that you're everything that we need. I thank you, Father, that you are reminding somebody today that you are the supreme God, that there is none other, that there is nothing that we need that you can't provide, nothing that we need to get through that you can't bring us through. There's nothing impossible for you because what's impossible for us is possible for you. So I thank you for your word, Father, in Ephesians 3 and 20 that reminds us that you are able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we can ever ask or think. And so for those of you that are watching this and listening for my voice, listen for the word of God because it's true. When everything else perishes, the word will still yet stand. When everything else around you is crumbling, the word of God is still yet there. When everything around you is going up and down, the word is steadfast and immovable. Stand on the firm foundation, on the solid rock, on Jesus Christ, on the word of God and no that you are able to be steadfast, immovable, and unshakable. You can't quit. And the word tells you if you faint in the day of adversity, your strength is weak. Your strength is small. And our strength is not small because our strength is through the word of God. Through Christ Jesus, we can do all things. And so I, I encourage you today to be reminded that God is El Shaddai. He is enough. Whatever you're going through, bring it to God. He said to let your request be made known unto him. 
him. Cast your cares on him. And if you keep your mind stayed on him and trust him, he says he'll give you perfect peace. And so today is the day not to quit, but to stand, not to give up, but to fight, not to throw in the towel, but to put on the armor. And so today is the day for victory. Today is the first day of the rest of your life. Today is the day that you stand and you tell the enemy, no, you tell your flesh, no, you will not quit, but you're being led by the spirit of God because those that are led by the spirit of God are sons of God. And so today is the day. Don't quit, but fight. Don't be a victim, be a victor. Don't act defeated because you are a defeater. You are more than a conqueror through him that loved you. And so remember, he is more than enough. El Shaddai. God bless you.